What's up guys, I'm Minards here, so let me show you guys how to do plexus in your edits. This can be for an AMV or a sports edit, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what you would need for today's tutorial is the plexus, obviously the plexus plugin. It is a third party plugin, so you will need to in either buy it or install the crack. The other thing you will need uh, is the video copilot's optical flares. You will need those two, so either get a crack or buy it. You also need M MLB Magic or MBL Magic Willow Lux. It's a Red Sweet software. You will need that also for today. Like I said before, you can buy it or you can get a crack version of it. There's, I know there's like somewhere a crack version for your computer or anything like that. But without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So what you want to first do is get your clip. I just get a, a quick clip from the Birdto movie. Uh, what you're gonna do next is right click in this area, do new, solid. You wanna go to your fix control, or let's just look it up here. Place preset. What you wanna search up is Plexus. What you wanna do is add Plexus to the solid. Now, once you add it to the solid, you will get this. It's a this is the Plexus Plexus object panel. What you're gonna do is go to add geometry and add paths. Go to add effector and add noise and then go back to add effector and add transform. Go to add renderer and put in points and go back to add renderer and add lines. And after you add those, you will be done. And if you accidentally miss one, it'll let you know right here. Cause once you put everything in here, it'll, it'll show up right here. So once you're done, just exit out cause we will not be needing it anymore. What you're gonna do next is go to your uh, pen tools or your mask tools right here. And what you're gonna do is you wanna select one of the um, the shape mask, and you want to bring the um, you wanna make it around the like around the full clip. And I'm gonna tell you, I'll show you why in a few. It just looks better if it's on the edges of the clip. So next, what you're gonna do is turn off the mask by clicking this. It's, it's always highlighted. So after turning off the mask, you wanna uh, go back to your selection tool and go to Plexus Noise Effector. So with Plexus Noise Effector, the noise amplitude it just um, it it just displaces the noise, not the noise, but the plexus, like the lines and stuff. So what you're gonna do is just go to Noise Amplitude and turn it up a bit. And if you see that it's only a little bit of plexus, and if you want more, just go back to the plastic plexus path object and um, bump up the points on each mask. So about uh, 186. So let's close that. Let's go to uh, let's go to back to the uh, let's go around here and we can change the color. So I'm gonna change it to blue, since you know the, the Rasengan gun in here is blue. Have you guys ever watched Naruto? So you guys know what I'm talking about. We're gonna close all the plexus panels real quick, and we're gonna talk about the plexus transform. What it does is that you can rotate it if you wanted. Right now we don't really want to rotate it because it's not gonna look great, so we can just do undo or control Z. And it's just basically just rotating it, so you have the three um, 3D rotations. Plexus is considered a 3D. It's already a 3D kind of effect. So you wouldn't, if you wanted to do a 3D kind of uh, like camera or anything, like typo or anything like that with it, you do not need to turn like make the layer 3D. But right now, what you're gonna do is click solid, right click in here, and add some glow. I forgot to mention you would need some type of glow product, and just bump it up. And let's change the width. Now let's change the width back down. All right. So what you want to do next is right click, new solid. Right click in the solid and add optical flares. Go to options and just click random flare. The one that looks good though. You don't want to click anything out of random. Even though I said random, but you know it's whatever. You know that we're just gonna get a lighter blue. So we do that. 
okay. Go to render mode and change from on black to on transparent. Bring it around here. What you're gonna do now is go to your clip, right click on there, go to your red giant color suite, and that magic bullet looks. You would need this is why you would need magic bullet looks, and I'll tell you why in a few. Click edit. Let's wait for it to load up. All right, so go to tools. Make sure you're clicking lens. So if you're at any one of these, just click on lens and add lens distortion and bring the distortion down to negative 38. Add chromatic aberration and bring up the red, um, red slash cyan. Maybe by 2.14 and just click finish and you should be done with that. All right, so we got that. Now, what you want to do? Is what we're gonna do now is gonna we're gonna show. Like, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it 3D or anything, like how to do 3D stuff with this. So, you want to go back to your first clip and add motion tile. So, just search up motion tile in here. Motion. I don't see the tile. I don't know why motion tile in here. I probably spelled it wrong. I have no idea why they're not showing motion style. But just go in here, right click, and go to stylize and add motion tile. Alright, and change the um, output width like anything over 100. So just go, let's go to 400. Or right, better yet, let's just do 500. Make sure it's not going past 30,000. If you saw any of my last um, other tutorials, you know why you should not go over 3,000. Because if you go over 3,000, then it's just going to crash on you. And you do not want that. So make sure you click on mirror edges. And what you're going to do now is click off of this. Right click in here. New camera. New. New. Uh, make the null 3D and parent the camera to the null. Make your clip 3D and go to uh, the optical flare and turn it from 2D layer to 3D layer. And then just close this up. Alright, so what you want to do now is you can add text in here. So let's see, we're going to go to the text bar right here and I'm just going to add any random text. So let me just change the font because the font that I have right now isn't that really good. So we're just going to go to Times New Roman and we're just going to add Plexus. I spelled that wrong. Alright, so I'm going to change this to white. Okay. So what we're going to do is make this 3D, go back to the selection tool, and bring it up. Alright, so what you're going to do is go to your new object, bring the plexus under the camera and null. So go to your new object, click P, or press P on your keyboard. The position, like press key from the keyframe on position, or not the keyframe, but the uh, stopwatch, and zoom in a little. Make sure you zoom in your plexus, because you don't want to zoom in your clip too much, because it's not gonna look good. All right, so what you're gonna do is click on your text and bring it up more. Uh, what you do next is go to like the end of the clip, so where you want the zoom to finish. And you just zoom it out. Look like the fit. And if you don't want to zoom it out too much, just go back to your text and change the size of your text. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Make sure you have all the letters selected.
Alright, so they look good. Just like them all. Easies. You can go in here and mess with the graph. I'm not gonna get to I'm not gonna go into much depth with the graph. I'm just gonna make it come out fast. Like that. Uh let me see. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the flexes layer, so the black solid one. We're gonna go to flexes noise vector. We're gonna click stopwatch on the noise amplitude and we're gonna go all the way to the end of the clip. And we're gonna bring it up. We go back to flex path object and let's add more points in each mask. So it is coming out pretty good. We can uh, turn on motion blur and add motion blur to all the objects. Make sure you add them onto everyone except your optical flare because if you do add motion blur to your optical flare, you will get an error message and it's just gonna crash your computer. So make sure you don't add any blur to your optical flare. You can add drop shadow to your plexus, like to the uh, text. Let me see. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna use the drop shadow from uh, a sapphire. Bring out the blur. We're gonna go to the plexus, and we're gonna try to bring it out a little bit, cause we want to make it 3D. So let's try. Let me see. Nope, let's change it back to position. Let's try faces. What is the Nope, bring it back to vertices. Go to Flex Transformer. This should probably have something to do with it. Bring the scale up, the X scale. And you center it better. So bring in like change the center and X. Like that, and there you go. To make this look even better, this will be good for any like this will be honestly very good if you add some turbo in this display. So, we're gonna right click new adjustment layer, and I'm just gonna uh, add any regular turbo in displays that I have. I will do a tutorial something about it if you guys want one. So like, I'm just gonna add any turbulence display. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna get one from um, Pud. And if you add it, it looks really good. Especially when you have like hit like a piano chord or something like that in a song. Next you want to do is new solid and add black bars. So right click, go to transform, trans transitions. I mean, not transform, and add CC jaws. Bring up the completion. Not all the way up to 100, but at least almost there. And bring down the height. Once you brought down the height, bring up the completion a little bit more. At least 90 something. Maybe even, let's try 80. 82. That looks good. Alright, so what you have now is it's pretty good. What we made now. Let's try rendering out to see how it looks. Alright, so for some reason it's not going to play, so we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to, you can add your CC, so we're just going to go to do adjustment layer. We're just going to add some glow. We're going to bring this under the light lines, I mean the 
bars and we're gonna add some glow so I'm just gonna go BCC film glow just bring up the glow let me just go right here so I can see everything so we'll bring it over 100 bring the radius over 100 and then bring the threshold down or up I mean All right, so what we have, it's pretty decent. It came out pretty good. Um, if this tutorial was helpful for you guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment any comment down any other tutorials you want me to show you guys. I am kind of running out of tutorial ideas and kind of not at the same time. But if you guys do have any kind of tutorial requests, please comment them down, and I will try my hardest to do it for you. Um. Hopefully this helped you guys. Uh, if it didn't, please tell me why and I will try to help you. Um, uh, this has been one of my other tutorials and I'm Perez and I'm out. Bye guys.